Now we still have to choose the compression ratio, ratio tau, tau C. Uh, sorry, pi C. And thus, since it's ideal, tau C. So typically we would choose this for maximum power. So we're trying to maximize C naught times F. So for some alpha, that's a constant, and theta 4, that's a constant. Remember, this is representative of technology level or material capabilities. We want to find the maximum F. And this is because since As tau f increases, thrust increases, we want to choose tau c to maximize tau f. So this gives us tau f for max thrust square root of 4 minus 1 all squared over theta naught 1 plus alpha plus 1 so that f over m dot a naught Max is one plus alpha times two over gamma minus one square root of theta four minus one all squared over one plus alpha plus theta naught minus one. Square root of all that minus m naught. So in the end, we have only three parameters. We have the flight speed m naught. We have theta four, which is a material limit, and typically we set to the max allowable. And we have alpha, the bypass ratio. And this is really the key characteristic for a turbofan. So then that gives us a specific thrust for maximum propulsive efficiency and maximum power. And to figure out what that propulsive efficiency is, this is going to, again, because C6 equals C8, we can write it simply this way. And this is this 2 over F over M dot A naught, M dot 1 plus alpha plus 2. Now the plots, uh, we'll discuss plots of the trends of these um, various functions. Uh, in class.